say good things come in pairs, and that's why we have two more games for you. Wyrm Girls vs. Solari and Triple Trouble vs. Notorious Legion Esports. We also got you two new casters, Digital Bacon and the Eternal. Jay will be joining the fray for the remainder of the day. Gentlemen, nice to have you back. And we have quite a few of uh, things to talk about, games to gawk at. Really, the first question I've got to ask you, out of these two, uh, we have Widom Girls first versus Solari, but do you think that is the game to watch? Which one of the games do you think carries more weight into the rest of the season? Oh, well, well, first thing, to address your part about good things coming pairs, I thought you were referencing the two of us, and I was just thinking to myself, eh, it's a bit of a stretch, so, you know. I, uh, I'm disappointed I've only got a banana, to be honest, like, yeah. <laughs> I got the pairs. But yeah, no, I mean, you know, to, to go back to the matches themselves, like the key thing about these last two games that we have on stream today, uh, they are of high importance because the two key thing, two, two key themes that we're going to see today are survival and promotion because like all the matches today are going to be all about that survival and promotion. The first match in particular, uh, the one that we have between uh, Solari and uh, uh, and We Them Girls, like it comes down to a case of if we see the upset and We Them Girls beat Solari, then they may well be having uh, a very tough little time uh, or, or in terms of getting into that top three. This is their last game, their last series of the entire season, and the Notorious Legion and Triple Trouble will be looking to make their ways back up. Meanwhile, We Dem Girls, they're currently teetering on the edge of elimination for this season, and the team behind them are RJM, so any victories they can get before they face up against them in the next week, that's going to be uh, that's gonna be so important to that team, you know? It is, well, really, by this point, it's do it. It's nice to have some still lots of things to play for, knowing that this is not the last, uh, well, this is close to the end of the season. This is not the last week just yet. Four more games will be played next week on the mainstream. Uh, but already we today were seeing several teams have been playing their last game. One of them, of course, is Solari. Uh, or our Team Verdicts were already played on the stream, and Solari now plays their last one for a chance to either go six and uh, three if they lose or seven and two and try to solidify those top spots. Uh, gentlemen, a quick predictions uh, from you and uh, from the chat as well. If you folks want to support your teams, exclamation point WDG or exclamation point SLY. But uh, Bacon, I'm going to go with you first. Uh, who do you have as the winner of the series between Weedam Girls and Salah? For me, it's got to be 3-0 to Solari. I think this team has been absolutely banging all season long. And going forward, we've seen Weedem Girls have a few problems. So I think with that formation issue that Weedem Girls have, Solari should just be able to pick them to pieces. Yeah, I'm going to agree on that front, just based off of the, the skills that we've seen, the differentials between these two teams. Like, We Them Girls came in as a very hype squad this season alongside Triple Trouble. Both have sort of disappointed in their own respects, but Solari, you know, I, caught, I was caught flat-footed by that team. I thought they were going to plateau this season. Apparently, I, I was, I'm, completely, I'm completely wrong in that respect. So, um, uh, a credit to them. They've managed to do some really good stuff. And as you say, Bacon, you know, the team formation from We Them Girls still hasn't formed up to its full potential, in my opinion. Uh, so, I'm also going 3-1 uh, to the favor of uh, Solari. I think they might be able to score that first game, but after that, it's going to be a bit more difficult. Well, the whole Solari crew is no question about that. Watching this series, trying to cheer their team on. Let's see what happens. Five games. Jay and Bacon, take it away. Yeah, five games, five very important ones at that. We look to get started with We Them Girls on the blue side and Solari repping the orange colors for this match up here. Bacon, this one has a lot riding on it. You can feel the tension as we get into kickoff for game number one. It's Kerryan over to the kickoff, trying to get the early advantage going for his team. Solari held back in the defense as Ixo and Greasy trying to get aggressive with their own right. Now the midfield control in the corner bounces in from Greasy and Co. will go close to the mark but no real shots coming out in the early game here. Yeah, you're just going to see these two teams try and put on some threat. But realistically, it's all about keeping safe, seeing what is going on with each other and work out from there. You can already see the defense of Weedham Girls being brought into question, but that's a good run downfield by Breezy. Unfortunately, can't quite finish it off. A bit too close to the backboard. Ixo can get his shot in, and Breezy's not going to be given his opportunity. So returning back to the blue half and into the defense right now for We Them Girls. Good play from Mello. Mello sees you almost got himself a very nice goal in that respect. The defensive does hold for the most part here on the part of the blue side of the court. First 60 seconds and still nothing coming out from either side. Demos now already. Physical contact and aggression. 
We'll lead them goal side returning to the orange half. We'll still go for some shots. Double commit on the defense. We'll get it out of the way. So the clears, despite the defensive, has been very confident from Solari. Yeah, it definitely has. And for me, Jay, looking at this game, Moshishu has been a massive factor to this team near enough the man of all seasons. But so far today, he hasn't really born, been brought into question. And oh no, defense only just holds on. Good close down by Exotic. But the pull up from Greasy is beautiful. Okay, I thought that was off the crossbar. Apparently not. Greasy finding the angle. He needs to slip it past all of the defenders. A couple of good shots out from Iksan Breezy. I thought that offensive would crumble from there, but no, no clears coming in from Solari when they most needed it here. We them goals. Kicking things off in game one. And again, they need a victory like this to buy their best chance to stay in rival series for another season. Kirian over from the corner, challenged by Breezy here. Ixo also getting involved, but Breezy's taking the brunt of it with a click T up towards Greasy Meister's position. No boost left for him. Ixo going to try and support. Exotic can take it to the midfield. Breezy going to try and find a response here. They are placing the ball away from slurry positions. Breezy actually with a bit of a dribble breakaway, trying to beat <laughs> Almeno Sushu! And he fakes his way straight to the line. 2-0 for Weedem goals. I... This... Wow. What do you say at that, Jay? Overthinking the situation. Melo Shishu, who, like I said earlier, has been an absolute beast all season long, hasn't really warmed up into this game, and they're a bit too worried. Expect that change. It is going to be a long best of five. After the loss to Triple Trouble last week, Weedham Girls have gone back to the drawing board and looked to really bolster themselves. Coming into this game, two goals straight off the bat. It's been massive for them, but... Good call off by Breezy there. Yeah, it's going to be plays like that from him that will have to uh, be necessary, I say, to win Weedem goals here against one of the best teams in Rival Series right now. Look at Ixo with this uh, great offensive up towards that box. Gets it past the first clearer. Exotic going to have to be the defender that sets it up for a teammate. Here I'm going to boom this one to the backboard. And Breezy and Ixo will contest. Over to the corner. He goes for the zero angle, but blocked off by Breezy once again on the rotations. He is currently showing up everywhere on this map right now. Ixo into the midfield. It's teed back over to the blue side defense as we them girls are struggling to break out of their half now. Same could be said for the offense of Solari, though. They're setting up some decent balls and decent positions, but these finishes are looking a little bit rough around the edges. Still good concepts and good placements coming out from that Solari team, though. Yeah, the build-up, the position of the plays is very good, but the positioning of the shots is not, Jay. Accuracy is just eluding them in these early stages. Good clear out from Eek, so we'll buy so much breathing room. And look at that charge follow-up from Weedem Girls. If you look the at Solari, they just need to really grease the gears, get everything working a little bit better. They can apply the pressure from here on now. Greasy taking a shot close to the target, going so far into the box before Exotic cuts it off. Still Ixo back on target. Melo Sishu, or Shisu, I should say. From that corner, Breezy will try and continue to contest his position. Ball sent out towards the midfield, and now they're going to try and return for Solari. No big rotations coming in from Ixo and Breezy. Eventually, do get there. Is that on target? It's a bit too shallow, so no way to get to the orange net. 60 seconds on the clock, and they're running out of time here for Solari. They have struggled quite a bit. We them girls having their own advantages and their own uh, coordinated play style here, I want to say, Bacon. Like, this probably might be one of the best matches I've seen from Weedem Girls so far this season. I say that, though, and Solaria trying to change the narrative. Midfield control dribbles coming out. Melosishu demoed out by Greasy Meister, so no opportunities presenting, them, presenting themselves to him. Yeah, this is definitely looking very complete from Weedem Girls, and Solari did not get off to a good start, but you can notice now, Jay, Solari have really got things working in defense. The attack is Ooh. still missing. And it's just closed things up. Going forward, this is anyone's game. On 10 seconds, Mela Shisu will try his best to get something out of this box play. Good shot from Exotic, but taken away. And Kieran will move in to try and contest. But just a midfield challenge should be enough for the Weedem goal side. Secure game one in confident fashion is what I want to say, Bacon. Uncharacteristically mm -hmm. confident as well, because like this Weedem goal side, they've consistently had problems and consistently sort of like struggled as time has gone on. But like this game, it looked probably the most confident we've seen of this team. 
Yeah, yeah, definitely since back before the season started, you know, this looks more like a preseason Weedham Girls. The only problem with preseason Weedham Girls is they would win the first two games, throw the next two, put everyone into question, are they really that good, and then just smash the fifth game. I doubt we're going to see that again because this Solari has really grown throughout this season, but it's good signs. Like I said, Weedham Girls going back to the drawing board over the last week trying to bolster themselves up. We've definitely seen Greasy in a much more powerful role. And I was always a critic saying he needs to fall back as a third man. Instead, he seems to be going up more as a single striker and the other two are working on that midfield, being able to jump back into defense. And it's an interesting one as Weedham girls are literally scrapping to stay up. You got to think right now, Jay, they are not safe. There is that seventh spot which any one of these four teams at the moment who are currently sitting on four wins and three losses could take. There's a very tight little setup here. As Kieran tries to find the opening goal here in his own setup in the server. And as you say, again, just to re-amplify and re-emphasize the importance of this series for Weedem goals. They started things off on the right foot. First game on the board. No first goals coming in for either side, though. Slurry will be beaten out the midfield. Nixo, great control, but not getting his second flick in against the offense. And the defense should hold its own. Melis Fishu now with his own dribble back downfield. Close range against two. Good challenges from those two. Kieran will try to keep it going up towards Exotic for the third man play, but 50 50 out by Ixo on the defense. Kieran bouncing out to the center line. Melis Fishu will go up for a quick dunk. And greasy. Moving in, try and clear out, but no follow-ups coming in from We Them Girls. Solari are allowed to clear back in the midfield, clear back to this blue half. And from the corner and the box is where they will look to try and work out here. Again, Exotic with a decent challenge. Breezy will try to put this one up for a nice dribble play. Kieran just takes it away easily, though, and tries for his own thing down the other side of the field. So that's up, Melashishu. Good block off from Greasy, though, and Exotic just can't follow suit. Yeah, very good block from Breezy, and love that from Kieran. Just... Getting a bit creative, which this team is definitely going to need to do right now. Come out with some new plays, because if their shot accuracy isn't really on target, you've got to create openings, create as much space for you to play into. Oh, oh save from Greasy. Some of these defenses are looking nice from We Them Girls. They're a little bit sketchy and shaky. And the bumps coming in from the back line. Almost clearing themselves out of that position there on the blue side of the court. We them girls are struggling no. despite some of the impressive saves we've seen. Case in point right there. They thought they had the clear. They thought Ixo got the confidence. But no, Melashishu kicks things off. Melashishu threading the needle there between player and post. Going to get the first one, but Jay, there's just under three, sec uh, three minutes left going into this game two. We've got tons of time. Let's just see how it goes. Oh, Kieran back to the backboard, setting up his teammate. It is Breeze that finds his way back out from that midfield. An exotic to the backboard. No one can clear it. That's right in front, but a little bit late to the party for the backup offense. Kieran tries the third man play, and they've all committed to this one. Backboard in, taken away by exotic, just getting back far enough in time. And Breezy continues to work off this backboard, set it up for Ixo. Potentially no, denied by the quick pass and clear, and the shot coming out from Kieran off the crossbar in towards Melo. Shishu gets it in, but no. Greasy Meister there with his own block and his own defensive follow up from Ixo for the clear. And whatever Solari can do it seems like we them girls want to say that we can do it better they might be able to do it better but they're currently sitting one goal down we them girls they're doing decent in defense but they've got to really get that build up going they're not positioning themselves up to maintain any sort of pressure downfield right now jay largely that's down to boost you can see solari has got great control of that but still not able to get close enough either side to net right now. See Ixos block off there being a bit awkward. They tried to go for the strike on Solari when it is turned around in the end and set up to the midfield for Breezy and Greasy to come forward with a great, decent offensive. But taken away by Kieran and Ixo off the backboard. No boost left for him. Tries to bump someone out of the way. I think he missed an exotic. Greasy also being beaten to the 50-50 challenge. Breezy comes up, beats out two more. Now going for his own play. Got complete control for this. Almost carried it all the way towards the net. Lots out by Kieran in the danger box. He tries to find his own clears of his own right. Greasy Meister will come up and challenge it, but Kieran is still being a thorn in their sides. 
A minute to go, still 1-0 up for Solari, as you said here, trying to extend that lead, and we them girls unable to handle the pressure for this game too. Breezy will try for a shot, it is going to be turned away by Melo Shishu. And in the end, nothing going the way of we them girls right here. Exotic still trying to keep his own pressure going. It's not going to happen for the moment here. Oh, and Exotic with that half turn probably is going to weaken the defense. He gets back in time there, Jay, and they've got to be careful because oh. Breezy is incoming. What a shot. I mean, there's a reason why you praised that you, you praise that wombo combo of Ixo and Breezy. Infield pass, perfectly placed. And finally, after a very long time of struggling, we them girls will be able to equalize against this Solari side. 36 seconds to the clock. And Ixo set up here with his own dribble play. Once again, going forward against Exotic. He'll challenge from the corner. Breezy still looking for his shots on target, and he manages it as well. But Melo Shishu takes it away on the defensive line, but directly on that line of the net. It's now Kieran and Exotic with their own breakaway. Back over to the blue half for Solari. Greasy and Breezy in that corner. Melo puts it up to the backboard, leaving it for a teammate. Ixo can get there, so Exotic backs off. Kieran keeps his own presence, though, inside that corner with a second touch. Right up here for Exotic to pinch it away. Gets it away from one defender. Melo Shishu with a decent chance. The bumping plays, but no. Greasy gets it out the way. Ixo will chase it downfield over to Breezy as well. This one will be high, but denied by Kieran. And I'll just let that ball hit the floor. We're in overtime for game two. Bacon, we them girls and Solari struggling against each other but not gaining major advantages just yet. Yeah, and if we them girls can just get control of a bit more boost, they should be able to take this one. Solari, they're picking things up, but you can definitely still feel they're a little bit sluggish. They're not connecting as well with each other as they used to. Exotic and each so challenging for control in that midfield. Kieran moves up with his boost, flicks it past two, demos in, back line's open, but only for a moment and not big enough window for them to punish it on the part of Solari. It will be returned by We Them Girls. It's Exotic and Kieran challenge on towards Breezy. Greasy's still in the midfield and Breezy's going to try, try to get some bumps in. Doesn't throw the back line off at all. There's no punishments coming in from We Them Girls. Just big long clears from the midfield to the orange half. Breezy passing up towards Ixo. That's a much better play. So much so that Exotic struggled to get back for the defense. Now Greasy's got his own control. Demo's coming in from Breezy, left, right, and center. Set up for Ixo now. He's a little bit late. Still goes for his touch right on. And the triple commit there on the defense is not going to be punished by We Them Girls. Again, being a bit passive at that midfield, trying to maintain pressure above getting the goal. It's working in terms of the confidence stances, but not getting the one score that they need to end off this OT. It don't matter. It is a siege right now from We Them Girls. Boost is such a commodity on this pitch. And it seems WDG has it all. Not going to be able to finish that one off exotic. As they have finally broke out. And now it's all going to be about trying to make sure they can fill those tanks, Jay. And then start something. Boost is the first priority right now for Solari. The second priority oh. is going to be those infield passes, though, direct from the midfield. Melo Shisu against the We Them Girls defensive gets it right past them all. And that's 2-1 on the board for Solari. A one-to-one -one series, Bacon. And so far, it's looking roughly how we kind of predicted it to a certain extent, you know? It's not exactly like it's being a, uh, uh, you know, like a, a one-sided affair from uh, uh, from Solari, you know? Like we, we have seen that first game coming from We Them Girls, but uh, you know, they struggled a lot against that WDG side, you know? They've had a, a bit of a weird sort of time trying to finish off on the offense. That goal was so pivotal for Solari here. They actually crashed my game, Jay. I'm going to have to re-log <laughs> into the server. And for me, it's all about Slory picking it up because they did start off slow. We Them Girls, for once in a while, it's, it's been a long time for them to really look that good straight out of the gates. And this is going to be crazy because this is the sort of matchup which after, say, week one, week two, when we saw Solari being as epic as they are, we thought, oh, this matchup here in the later weeks is going to be awesome. And it's finally delivering. I can't wait to see how this one develops. Like we said, I, I predicted a very strong win, even a 3-0 to Solari in this one. But we them girls have turned it up. I'm changing that to 3-2 to Solari but I'm definitely thinking we're getting that game live. You can't change your prediction partway through series, Bacon. That's not fair. Oh, double do commits, though. Double commits, though, might have a bit of a weird issue for that We Them Girls side, so we could be on for a bit more coming out from the Solari cap. 
So over to the corner now for that orange offensive. Eek so set up again. Kieran gonna have to try and deny it from Melashish's part as well. Over from that cyborg. Dribbles up past Breezy. Trying to get it past Eek so as well. Good challenge from him, but it doesn't go on target. And it's counted as a save and a shot. Greasy now beaten out by Exotic. Also sideboarded out towards Melashishu. Up for Exotic here to receive it. He tries to bump Breezy out of the way, but he's unsuccessful in clearing out the net here. Melashishu out to the midfield. Exotic ready to receive off that 50 50. Up against Eek so he can't get to the backboard. And Exotic barely recovers the shot as it goes in for Solari. Yeah, a little bit of a funky defense here. Ixo left on his own. Breezy trying to react, trying to go for the bump, was indecisive. And Jay, indecision in Rocket League is a real killer. They're going to have to take that goal and somehow promote themselves, get themselves stronger. They can't just wait around and see how Solari plays. They have to be proactive right now, we them girls. On oh, the look at the productivity here from Melo Shishu. That's on target, taken away by Ixo. Bounce to the backboard. Exotic comes in for a dunk, but he whiffs his touch. And Kieran's nowhere to be seen with a three-man play. He's playing on defense. They can afford to do this for the moment here, Solari. That two-goal buffer would have been nice to have. Kieran passing out to Melo Shishu. Off to the right-hand backboard. Right by Ixo Breezy comes in with his own shot, looking for his double touch. He gets it past them all, but not quite the final hurdle. He lurks right on the line, though. And as Ixo comes in for the recovery, Breezy can finish the job. Right place at the right time here, Breezy. Just trying to get out of dodge there, Jay. But hey, the ball's delivered straight to him, and you know what he's going to do with it. One all. Three minutes 14 left on the clock. Did we expect any less from this game three? I don't think we did, no. <laughs> Series as important as ever for We Them Girls. That last game that they lost has put them out of the running for the top three. It was a tight race for them to even get to that point, but now it's all about survival. Need to take as much as they can above Solari here. From that corner board, Ixo going to miss out against Exotic. He will chase his back downfield. Demo out, Greasy. Here comes Melo in towards Kieran. Off the crossbar, backboard. Second touch missed. But Melo Shishu is ready to back him up. 2-1 on the board for Solari. I love this play so much. Kieran just with the bait. Breezy was coming on and suddenly saw that, no, it is actually Melo who is going for the ball and puts it across net. What a play. When you're stuck with two attackers, you just got to bet your odds on one, and that time, not going to happen. Ixo from this sideboard, 32 points of boost, carrying it pretty far, almost sets it up for a goal. Challenged by Greasy, in towards Breezy, but he's back at the midfield, doesn't commit to that offensive. We them girls finding themselves within one of the Solari lead. Just have a decent chance here, so long as they can find the breakaway in the offense that works. Ixo, however, being contested by Exotic in the midfield. Melashishu looking for a zero angle. Puts it close to the target, but a bit too far to the left-hand side of the net. Kieran can't recover. Still got that midfield control. Still got the aggression and the pressure here from the Solari side. Breezy can turn it over against Kieran to the sideboard. Ixo comes forward with 28 points of boost, though. He's going to have to play something really good to try and get it past him. He can only get it past one. It's greasy. And Bree and, and Breezy looking for Breezy in the midfield. Eek, so they're going to have to be falling back here. They're out of boost and out of opportunities. Two players on that left-hand field, though. This could get a bit ugly. Yeah. Quite uh, capitalized on by Melashishu, though. Yeah, Eek and Breezy, though, are having like a little huddle over in the corner, talking out a plan or something. Let's hope that it comes to fruition, because right now they are getting attacked hard upon. They are being very patient with this ball, Jay, which is a very interesting, intriguing approach. Oh. But that right there, this day and age, that's pretty bog standard for the demo goal. Yeah, no, you talked about them taking their time with this, but that's the perfect chance for Solari to go ahead and get aggressive. That's exactly what they did. Demo out, an easy goal for Exotic. 3-1 on the board. Solari are looking good here in game three. We them goals. Struggling now in a way that we haven't seen them before. You know, they, in this last couple of games, they struggled, but they were able to keep it close at the very least against Solari. Now, that's the first time I think we've seen a two goal lead coming out. Nixo and Breezy trying to change that. Greasy also challenging. That's on. That's in. No way they can save that. 150 50 is all it takes for 4 1 up for Solari, and the game starts to crumble to their opposition. And I think that is also game three done and dusted, Jay. Three goals in a minute and five seconds, possible, but do we see Weedem girls coming back from it?
That's a decent kick off to start it off with a bump as well. Breeze are going to try and follow suit, but the challenge from Elishishu is also just as good. And every time they return this ball to the blue half, it's just going to be extra time wasted. They can't afford to mess around here. Have to get the offensive going. They have to make it perfect. Ixo challenged by Melashishu. Breezy comes in from that corner off the ceiling as well. Ixo going to try and beat down this man. Exotic have to get back around from this corner. Ixo sets it up right into the hands of Exotic though. Breezy can't respond. Breezy will challenge for it though. And Ixo will wrap back over as Breezy Meister gets off the ceiling for a decent shot. Melashishu returns it over to the midfield where Breezy is waiting to receive. Now that's a centre line. Melo. For Exotic now, back to Kieran. What a three-man play that goes off the crossbar. So no impressive goals coming out from them, but Solari don't uh, need it. What? Time has ticked away. Actually, it's a play that might cost them a bit more than we expect, Bacon. I, I think this was just a brain fart coming out from Solari, to be honest. They've put all three players downfield. My Shishi went for a ball and Exotic took it off to the side. Like, clearly they weren't communicating. That's just overconfidence going into the final 30 seconds. I'm not going to take much away from it, but we do know going into the next game that could bolster We Damn Girls a little bit, can't it? Because those late second games, those condolence goals, do sort of relieve that stress going into game four. Oh, one more goal for this game just to secure that three goal lead. One more time for Solari. 5 2 on the board. And, well, there's no way back for We Damn Girls from this stage. Match point for that Solari side. 2-1 up now in this series. As you say, Bacon, though, a couple mm -hmm. of points for We Them Girls to take away going into this uh, uh, into this two-game deficit. And the victory against the other Solari side, obviously, it's still going to be a, uh, a tough little affair for them considering how they have been beaten down in the last game as well. You know, they have had some close affairs, and I don't think that We Them Girls are completely out of this one, Bacon, but um, uh, they're going to have to try and research those little points. You know, as you mentioned, a couple of overcommitment and brain fart moments from Solari. The offensive, though, has been getting better and better as these games have gone on. I will say, though, We Them Girls have changed things up. Greasy has fallen a little bit more back, whereas Ixo and Breezy have having to do a lot of the heavy lifting there now that's a change up with the team like we said they were getting a lot more patient in their defense so they're trying to near enough counter attack everything they're trying to draw solarion in and then make a big big play that the reason why they're going slow in defense is because they're trying to store boost so that even though those 100s in the back lines are getting taken away they can still be there with 50 60 in the tanks ready to pounce now this is a new style from we Dem girls I'm not sure if it's going to oh. work. Oh. Kieran just knows where to place himself. That was such a good chase back downfield. Get in, contest Breezy, contest Ixo. Melashishu got himself an assist with that pass up. 15 seconds in, Solari have kept the momentum going. 1-0 on the board, and we them girls just caught flat-footed in the defense. As Greasy comes up and tries to get something going in the offense instead. It's Breezy contesting against Exotic. He gets it underneath him. Greasy will get two demos, so Exotic's still going to be the only man here in defense, and he still gets a touch against that. Back pass towards Greasy from Breezy. Go to the corner as he looks for a second touch over towards Ixo now, who's a bit too far forward in the midfield. Breezy's a bit further backwards, so he'll try and continue the offense, but pushed out of the way by the incoming midfield contention from Solari. They will boom back over to the blue half. Shot in from Elishisu. As Greasy and Ixo control, trying to get the flips past them. Ixo with a bit of a breakaway, but not able to challenge onto Kieran that easily here. They will continue the pressure for Solari in this blue half from this blue corner. The first 60 seconds have netted them already a goal. Yeah, and I'm liking what I'm seeing from Weedham Girls now. They're getting a little bit more proactive. They're getting a bit more oh. aggressive. Good clutch save from Breezy. Breezy follows up well, buying time, buying space as well for his teammates. But what is going on with Solari for them not to chase up so deep on that? They're giving over time. They're giving over a chance of recovery to Weedham Girls right now. Got a decent opportunity here. Too many times to the backboard, though. That was set up Melisishu for the clear. And Breezy will try to follow suit against Kieran. Again, bump on the ball. will take it to the corner rather than directly on the center line. It's Greasy now with his own control. 100 boost picked up by Melisishu. Even even more from the small pads, Ixo will put that one set it up. And again, Exotic just knows exactly where to place himself. And it feels like all these ball offensives from We Damn Girls are being played right into the hands of Solari. Demos in as well as the defense starts to crumble. Melo Shisu goes to the backboard and continues the pressure here. Two minutes in and very few opportunities have gone the way of We Damn Girls. They will try and get some demos in to try and burst out the midfield. But again, Exotic is in such good position to take it all away from them. 
It is indeed. Coming up to the halfway mark right now. And everything's getting a little bit scrappy. Oh, oh no. Talk about scrappy. How about a clinical little drag down to ground here by Exotic? Yeah, Greasy recognized he wouldn't have been able to get that confidence. And while well, Ixo tried his best, and Breezy was there's the backup in the back line that was way too far out of position. Way too much pressure coming in. Not good enough from we them girls. 2 0 at this stage against a match point as well. And they're just not being given the room to breathe to return back as Melojisu gets another for the board of Solari. And this is more like what I was expecting out of this stage here in the game. 3-0, yep. Solari are dominating, and we them girls have no idea what to do. This is the Solari we used to. I talked earlier about how they're given over so much time to we them girls to recover. And that's purely because Solari are focusing on that midfield. You'll notice a lot of these long shots off the bat ball because they want to drop it like that. And that's them playing safe. If that's them playing safe, trying to make no risks, you can see when they get really up in their opponent's grill with plays like this to get the ball downfield, that they are so scary. Another shot from Melashitsu. Kieran goes back on target, blocked at the line by Ixo. And look at the contact, look at the physical bumps coming in, just keeping them all suppressed into that corner. A breakaway will come through for a moment, but Exotic is so quick to return once again. Out fake a second player, try beat Breezy with the same mind games. It won't quite work out for him though. Melashitsu come back inside that box. Ball goes up and Breezy gets that demo in. Kieran try to put it out to the center line. Greasy is there to contest. Just try and take dribble players against them, but they need to find something a bit more meaningful in the offense. Ixo wins out one challenge, pushed back once again by Exotic. This one's right on target as well. As Greasy gets that save, Kieran will get to the back ball, boom back on target from Breezy. And again, my eyes are drawn to that timer. A minute and 30, 30 seconds apiece for we them girls. If they want to try and bring this back to an even standing, that doesn't even include the goal to secure this game. And with the pressure being applied by Solari, the defensive holding as well. There just seems to be just no way out for Weedem girls. Weedem girls right now, this is the point where they sell their souls to the devil because they need to turn this around. One minute is an almost impossible feat to do. We have seen it done in the past, but it is such a rare occurrence. None of these build-ups, none of these clearances are coming on through. Solari are closing everything on down. A pinch out from Exotic, blocked off by Greasy Meister, but it does not allow for an offensive. Breezy will try and get some pressure going, but the 30 second gong is about to sound, and that just gets even more worse for this WDG side. Off that ceiling from that corner, Kieran beaten out by Breezy in the end, trying to go for a zero angle. It's right there, but they couldn't secure what they needed. It is returned back by Solari. It's Greasy Meister contends against Exotic. Ixo will move in with no boost. He's got to find a connection towards Breezy. He will find it, but it goes to the corner and no further than that. Final 10 second countdown. This game is over. This series is over. We them girls will fall to Solari. 3-1 the series, not out of the ordinary, but uh, a, bit, a bit overly promised, I think, from that game one, considering how well they held as well for we them girls. That just shows how scary Solari are. Not really performing in game one, but straight away start making those adaptations. And that, Jay, is the sign of why this is a team that is ready for the promotion playoffs. Because with that win, I do believe they have booked themselves into the top three secured. I believe so, yes. I'm not sure if they can go all the way towards first place. It's a bit more mathematical mm. from my end, and I'm just sort of a bit, you know, a, a weird one. But as far as I'm as far as I'm aware, yeah, it feels like this will be a confirmed top three position. I think Jam actually might have already done the mathematics yeah. on this one. Go so on, why don't we bring him in and ask him uh, if he knows what the situation is? In, indeed, I, w I was sending you some hand signals over there trying to tell you that, yes, indeed, with that seventh win, Solari has notched that third spot. Uh, there still might be a little bit of battle for that first. Uh, Notorious Legion Esport, Triple Trouble, all the teams that have been sitting on four wins no longer can make it into the top three. And for this match for William Girls also means that their battle against RGM next week on the mainstream is going to be the battle for the ages. It's in or out. Whoever wins stays in league, whoever loses is out. And with that, we basically fund our... Um, final team to get out still it's a lot in the future let's talk about the series that we just saw William Jones versus Solari 
Solari just shows that their quality in their final game of the season, they've shown exactly what they're worth. Anyone specifically that stood out to you? Exotic for me, actually, because it felt like he was able to play offense, midfield, and defense all at the exact same time. Like, there was a moment where both his teammates got demoed in the back lines, and then he still held his defense. He still held the midfield. And when he was pressured to go back to defense, he rotated and still challenged them regardless. Like, I think Exotic had a really, really good game from an in-server perspective. Stats were a little bit more skewed to his teammates, but like Exotic for me is my MVP of that series. Yeah, and a big like follow on to that, Normally, when we're talking about this Lari side, it's always how amazing the player Karian is or how Melo Shishu is the core. So Exotic Absolutely. really stepped up today. Like we said, that first game, Solari wasn't really performing. So Exotic to step up, this for me has earned him the MVP so far today. You know, he has been such a crucial player on that team to get Solari that win, which they needed so much to secure on that top three spot in their very last match of the season. And what a fitting way to do that as well. Uh, we, and we've seen today already some of the um, players who have not been perhaps carrying their weight in the offense step up. We saw that in our CD Espanol series as well. But for Solari, I'd say season well done. They will be pretty happy with what they are achieved. I'm pretty sure the Solari organization as a whole uh, will be happy with the performance of Karen Yoni, Melishisu, and of course, Exotic. For Redem Girls, I I hope they can still stay alive because to lose uh, Greasy out of the top two leagues, it's gonna hurt. Just like a lot has has not been able to qualify, losing another veteran on the scene is gonna hurt. But they have a week to prepare for that, uh, gentlemen. Let's have a short break. When we come back, the final game of the day: Triple Trouble versus Notorious Legion Esport. Another battle for that survival spot. Let's see who will come up on top in just a short while. We'll be right back. 